Hey everyone, today we're talking about Black Girl Sunscreen's Make It Hybrid. So this is one of the newer sunscreens from Black Girl Sunscreen. And why we love it so much is that it's actually not a pure chemical sunscreen. It includes 5% zinc oxide. So zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, they're two of the mineral sunscreen filters. So they're basically physical elements that sit on top of your skin and cover your skin from UV rays. This has been a problem for darker skin in the past because as you know, when you put a zinc stick on, it's white. So most of the mineral sunscreens out there, when you apply it, it actually makes your face look really chalky, excessively chalky, like ghost level Casper chalky. So we haven't been able to wear it. And even with hybrid sunscreens as well, it's always a risk with our skin. The good thing about Black Girl Sunscreen to make it hybrid is that it actually blends in flawlessly. Now, for most people that use it, there is a tone up effect. So it's what you see in the Korean beauty world, meaning that when you wear it, it makes your skin look instantly brighter. So it's not gonna be like the original Black Girl Sunscreen, which means that it's a skin matching invisible finish it's not quite invisible no matter how well you blend it in but it doesn't make you look ashy either so just to demonstrate i haven't worn sunscreen yet today and i'm going to apply this on my skin and i know my skin's oily as fuck sorry about that um it's 35 degrees today and yep so the one other thing to note about black girl sunscreens make it hybrid is that it's got a more watery formula than the original black girl sunscreen so don't squeeze too hard on this I actually open it um, upside down so I don't squeeze the whole tube out so it looks pretty much the same as the original black girl sunscreen it's got a more liquidy formula and when you first apply it you really see the zinc oxide it makes your skin pretty white and then now you gotta really blend it in and take your time as black girl sunscreen says so with the original black girl sunscreen i just put it on my face and then i don't even bother blending it in i just leave it and then it just finishes invisible but with this one you can already see it goes invisible but you need to rub it in a little bit on darker skin and I can't really see myself close up, so I might have some on my eyelids. But when I wear this in the morning, it goes in pretty well. So make sure you get your ears. It doesn't really cover my eyebrows, so when I have tried hybrids in the past, I actually need to draw my eyebrows on top again. But this is actually pretty good. So it's got a really nice dewy finish as well. Um, obviously my skin didn't really need it. So that's the other thing I'll say. If you've got oily skin, you might want to stick with Black Girl Sunscreen's Make It Matte because I think this is even more dewy than the original Black Girl Sunscreen. But if you've got dry skin, I think you'll love this formula. So you can see it blends in pretty well. It's given my skin like that tone up effect. So it's made my skin look instantly brighter. And that's just what happens when you apply zinc oxide or titanium dioxide on your face. So these mineral sunscreen filters basically sit on top of your skin. So that's the reason why it's always gonna be a little bit visible. It's not gonna be completely invisible. But the good thing about it is that the OG Black Girl Sunscreen is SPF 30. The Make It Hybrid is SPF 50. So it offers a strong degree of protection. It will make a great makeup base for mineral sunscreen. So if you're wearing like, I'm um, sorry, mineral foundation. So if you're wearing like Lily Lolo's um, mineral powder on your face, it'll do really well at adhering it to your skin and also just counterbalancing that drying effect that mineral powders do have. And lastly, what I want to say is that this contains a little bit of lavender oil. So the original Black Girl Sunscreen doesn't have any essential oils in it or fragrances. This doesn't have any fragrances in it either, but it does contain a fragrant plant oil, which is lavender oil. And when I first put it on, I was like, oh, OK, because I'm not really a fan of lavender oils or essential oils, but it actually kind of grew on me. And my skin's quite sensitive. It's rosacea prone. It gets acne and this hasn't broken me out at all. So yeah, try it. Black Hill Sunscreen, make it hybrid.